YouTube and Facebook friends. It's Sunday morning here. I know it's Saturday afternoon at 5 back home. And I'm going to do another video on Barack Hussein Obama. Why in the world is Obama now demanding that Israel gives up their nukes? No leader in the world would even suggest that other than Iran, who hates Israel almost as much as they hate America. So why would they, why would Obama tell Israel then you give up their nukes. Who hates Israel more than anyone else in the history of the world? The future Antichrist does. If Israel was without nukes, Israel would be a sitting duck to those who would attack her, according to man's logic. Of course, we know that God will always protect Israel, and she will never be destroyed. But just the fact that Obama is now demanding she give up her nukes, it's unbelievable. Remember, he disclosed, as my thumbnail shows, he disclosed several months ago, a couple months ago, Israel's nuclear arsenal, secrets behind her arsenal. The whole thing is getting totally out of control. It's getting ridiculous, and it's getting insane. And people better start waking up and smelling the coffee and seeing what's going on. Because after the imminent rapture happens, those who are left behind, all the unsaved, including most Christians as well, because they refuse to repent of their sins, where the Bible says at least two or three times that you have to, they're going to be here to deal with Obama when he becomes Satan incarnate. And many people will say, well, you know, Paul Kidd, uh, the whole world doesn't like Obama, like it, but he just cuts. You know what? The Holy Spirit's still here. The Holy Spirit is the one that keeps evil in check. When the Holy Spirit leaves and Obama comforts the world by explaining to them that the aliens took their family and friends and babies and children, the world will fall in love with him in mass. Right now, most of the world still loves Obama, but most people can't understand that because they're just too dumbed down. They don't have a clue. It doesn't matter to me. Who the Antichrist is. It matters to me to tell you because many out there aren't going to be going in the rapture. Very few are going to get raptured and you need to know who you're dealing with after the fact. And the Bible tells us to look for the man whose number is 666. That's Barack Hussein Obama. That's what his name is. I've already proven this stuff so many times. I feel like a broken record sometimes. But all the pieces to the puzzle, you know I'm an end times puzzle person and my wife likes doing regular puzzles. I like doing end times puzzles. And I'm putting it together, my friends, and I'm telling you what, I, what I'm shown and led by the Holy Spirit from the news, and I'm putting it out. And you can believe whatever you want to believe. But soon, all hell is going to break loose on this, earth, on this earth after the imminent rapture, and those who are left behind are going to be here for seven years of hell on earth. It will tear this world down on its foundations, and if God didn't intervene, no flesh will be left alive. As it is, about two-thirds of all humans will die terrible, awful, horrific deaths. Why well, go through all of that? I got a prayer I'm putting in the box below the video title. If you've never been saved, you're a backslider, pray that prayer and do those six steps as soon as possible because no one's guaranteed any more time in their life. Also, in that box, I'm putting my Tribulation Survival Guide video. It tells you how to get saved during the trip and what to expect A to Z. But true Christians, just keep looking up, keep witnessing and praying for the lost. If they won't listen, it's between them and God. All we can do is plant the seed. We can lead them to the living water. We can't make them drink. If you'd like me to pray for you, contact me and I'll pray for you every day. But again, true Christians, look up, my friends. Our different draweth nigh. We fly soon. Have a blessed weekend. And share this video with everybody you possibly can. Take care. Bye.